hi in today's video we are again going to create your own custom vpn but this time we will be using very minimum commands to get it done so for this you can use any of the vps provider for the demo purpose i am going to use linode.com and then if you don't have any account on this please create the account I already have the account so I'm gonna log in so this is the portal or the dashboard of the linode.com and when I say create Linode it means we are going to create the virtual machine or create the VPS server so let's create the VPS After, create, after the click of the create button, we need to fill this form and select a couple of options and then our VPS server is going to be created. So first thing first is select the reason. And in my scenario, I'm going to select United Kingdom, London location. And from the Linux distribution or operating system, you can select one of them i'm going to go with the default 24.04 ubuntu lts and then from here we need to select one of the plan for the purpose of just only running vpn shared cpu is enough having the minimum plan which is five dollar per month so just select the minimum plan and then here you can rename your server name otherwise we can leave it default naming and for the security you can provide the root password or add the ssh key i am going to use the root password for the simplicity of this video and then at the bottom side click on private IP. So this is the summary of your server, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, London location, $5 per month plan and private IP. Click on create Linode. And on this page, we can see the summary again, but here we can see the public IP and this is the IP we will be accessing our server. So here we can see the status of the server is provisioning and here a couple of once the server is created we can control the server by power on reboot and couple of more options are there and if for some reason you do not need the server you can delete the server or for some reason you want to upgrade or migrate then you can use these options and for accessing the server using the terminal SSH if you are using Windows machine you can use putty otherwise for Mac you can use uh, Terminal itself. So for the terminal, this is the command and here we can see the Status is now running and for SSH. This is the command. So simply you can click on this copy and Let me open the terminal Okay, this is the command and I have pasted and entered but this is giving me the remote host identification prompt so firstly we need to fix this because the same linode server i have created for my previous video and my local machine is considering this entry so i need to remove the entry and then we can continue so if you are also going to face the problem in future like this you can use the command ssh hyphen keygen minus r and the ip address and then you can simply continue with the previous command and this time we can see it is asking for the password just enter the root password you have previously entered while creating the vps and now you can see the login is done now to manage the wire guard 
last time in the previous video we have done all the work manually this time we are going to install casa os and inside the casa os we are going to install the vpn so for installing the casa os just simply write casa os and the first link will be open so copy this command and then go back to the terminal and paste the command and here you can see it says casa os is running just simply copy this url and paste in the browser and this is the first time account creation for the admin so just use your username and password you need to remember this password because every time you want to access casa os you have to provide this password along with the username so simply the account is now created and we are logged in and here you can see the summary of the server so system status storage network status and some more settings are there you can enable or disable these settings and from here you can update couple of settings by default the files app is installed and this is the app store from here you can install a lot of apps you want to and i will be creating a dedicated video on this but for now for this subject we are going to look into the app which is going to provide us the vpn so by looking into the vpn here we can see there are four options yesterday we tried wireguard easy but manually we have installed and by doing the installation from here also it is possible so simply by clicking this and click on install button the magic is gonna be done but instead of the wireguard easy this time i am going to use firefly and let's click on install and it says that default password of the admin is firefly so just copy this password and we can modify this password into the environment variable so i can let you know how to do this but when we click the start installation simply you can see very easily this app is now installed and each and every app is going to be inside the docker as separate instance to avoid any kind of conflict so if i am going to click firefly you can see this is the dashboard just like the wgez in the previous video we have seen so similarly but the, in that video we were creating the password hashing and so many things as manual process but here everything is controlled by the casa os installation so i am just entering the password as firefly and clicking on sign in and this is the client entry wherein we can create the client so for the demo purpose let me create the client and now you can see after giving the name it is giving me the local ip this is the ip which is going to be assigned once the device is going to connect to the vpn and here there are a couple of options from here you can enable or disable the client and from here you can download the qr code and from here you can download the configuration to the relevant machine so if you are using any device which can accept the qr code by scanning through the camera simply click this and download the wireguard application inside that device and scan it from there by using the scan qr code option or if you are using any device which can accept the configuration file to be imported then you can use that so for the demo purpose in this mac i am going to use the download configuration option and the file is now downloaded and i am going to use wireguard website so in the wireguard.com 
go to the installation and select whatever device you want to install the software so in this demo we are going to use macOS so for macOS just click and as you can see I already have installed it and if I will click this from status bar I can see previous tunnels are listed here and this time I need to click on import tunnel from the file and if I go to the downloads I can see device1.conf and then import simply gonna be selecting the recent one this is the recent one configuration in your scenario maybe you are doing this first time so you won't be able to see other configurations but just only one configuration in my scenario I have previously configured things so that's why these are listed here so just simply click on activate and it is now activated how to verify if this is activated or not so simply go to what is my ip.com and here you can see the IP address is this and the ISP is Linode and the location is London similarly while you were creating the VPS if you are going to select another location for example US or India any other location then by say by activating the VPN your location and IP address is going to be according to the region you have selected and if I'm going to turn off or deactivate the wire guard and refresh the page again then here we can see this is the original IP address so that's all about this video wherein you have learned how you can easily create the VPS server how you can install the install the Casa OS and then inside the Casa OS you can install the VPN app and then use it thanks for watching this video